today I'm going to be making some rose hip syrup. So I have a bag of rose hips that I've harvested this afternoon. I have two small lemons and a bag of sugar. A glass bottle to put the syrup in when it's made. So I'm just going to cut the rose hips, uh, cut the top off and the bottom and then just sort of cut them in half and squish them a little bit and throw them in the pan. So that's all the rose hips in the pan now. Now I'm going to cut up the lemons and put those in there. I've got a lot of rose hips in this pan, so I'm gonna add a liter of water, a stir. So I've brought it to the boil. Now I'm just going to let it simmer for 20 minutes. What I'm going to do is to strain it to get rid of the seeds and the skins and the lemons. I'm going to use a uh, bag for this because it's what I've got to hand. So all these seeds contain really fine hairs which can be an irritant it can be really really itchy so i want to make sure that none of those go into the syrup because you don't want to be eating or drinking drinking those so once most of the liquids through there i'm just going to tip this whole pan into this bag So then I can squeeze it through. As you can see there, I've nearly got the same litre that I started with. So I've got most of the fluid out and I don't really want to squeeze it too much because then some of the hairs might start to come out too. And in the bag, we're left with the skins and the seeds and the lemon. So I've got my rose hip syrup I'm going to add it to the pan I've thoroughly cleaned the pan to get rid of any of the, the hairs etc I'm going to tip that in there I have some brown light brown sugar I'm going to add that and because I've got about a liter of the syrup I'm going to add some more normal white sugar as well um, then what I'm going to do now is to bring this back to the boil so now it's simmering I'm going to simmer it for about 40 minutes or until it's it's thick enough through after about 20 minutes I decanted uh, some off into another bottle and then I've been leaving this a little bit longer to make it a little bit thicker so I've got a little bit of both some sort of slightly more runny syrup and then some thicker syrup. So this has been there for about 40 minutes now and it's getting quite a nice thick syrupy consistency. I'm just going to pour it through the funnel into the bottle. This is just a bottle that the milkshake came in. Nice cheap way of buying glass bottles. Rather than, you know, paying a couple of pounds for a bottle, just get a drink in a glass bottle rather than a plastic one and save that. So the rose hip syrups are full of vitamin C. You can just use it like any other syrup. So put it on things like pancakes or have it in your tea. So rose hips are very high in vitamin C. They actually have um, a, more vitamin C than oranges. They used to make it during World War II so that uh, people could get their vitamin C because obviously things like oranges and lemons weren't getting brought to the UK. So the rose hip syrup then is a nice simple thing that you can make with something that you've foraged. For how to forage rose hips 
check out my video and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching.